Welcome back. Now, in this session, we're going to look at the cut-up technique by David Bowie. Now, this technique is pretty amazing because what it does is it basically, the idea is to capture phrases, words, sentences, little, you know, little bits and pieces from here and there and sort of like Frankenstein, put them back together, right? And put them together in a way that they sort of make sense or they inspire something to write. And that's the other way he used to use it. And I've used it that way as well. Because what it does is you'll get these disjointed and nonsensical sometimes ideas that just don't really fit together, but they can inspire something to happen. Okay, but also what can happen is by putting them together, it can actually form an idea like it could be like a bit out there, but still it could fit in a song really well. So the cut up technique, the way they used to do it in the old days is uh, David Bowie used to get magazines, okay, um, paper clippings, uh, newspapers, whatever, and he used to cut up bits and pieces. Okay, so he'd get a phrase that he liked, like, uh, I don't know you. Boom, 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 chop it up, put it away. Uh, another phrase, um, um, I hate earthquakes, boom, 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 put it away. Whatever, right? Random little phrases that appealed to him sometimes or not the people, or whatever. It just, it didn't really matter. There was no rhyme or reason to it, okay? So he just cut them up, put them away. And, he had a, and at some point, he'd have a whole bunch of these. And then he'd just go through them and just like navigate his way through these little bits and pieces and try to make sense of it and try to write a song out of it. Now, obviously, that's really time consuming. <laughs> okay, that would take forever. But that's the way that he did it back in the day. And then a friend of his, and I think it was in the 80s, I think it was, I heard him say it in an interview, uh, where he had a friend of his that was like some kind of uh, software you know, developer, uh, programmer, whatever, he made a program for him. And that program still exists, okay? Let's have a look at it. Let me minimize my mug. And it's right here. It's called the Verbicizer, okay? And as you can see here, it's just verbicizer.com. This website is based on the Verbicizer, an idea created by David Bowie, Brian Eno, and Ty Roberts. This was the technique he made famous, but he didn't really invent it. Other people were using it before him, but, uh, but he made it famous. I mean, he really used it to the maximum, I think, uh, potential of this thing, okay? So what this basically is, okay, this Verbicizer thing, is you put in phrases in each of these boxes, whatever you can make up whatever you want doesn't matter and then you verbicize it and it'll put it in this box there's also other options here load news headlines load boy lyrics actual actual boy lyrics and copy output right so the copy output is basically you copy everything that's there and you can paste it in um in a google doc or whatever okay so let's check it out okay what are we going to write? Let's see. Just out of out of the blue, okay? Um, an empty house. Okay? Go to the next box. Okay? A dark road. Okay? Leaves are falling. Whatever. Um... Uh, the midnight sky. Something in the dark, yeah? <laughs> because the song we did in the previous lesson had that kind of... Remember, you were walking in the dark and that kind of thing. So we're going to use that same song, by the way, as um, uh, to work out to see how this style of writing lyrics works. We'll use the same uh, melodic line from the other lesson. Uh, midnight sky, leaves are falling, a dark road, an empty house... Um, uh, distant memories, memories, and, and, um, long lost love, how about that, <laughs> long lost love, okay, so we got, we filled up our boxes here, right, so now, 
verbicides. Okay, so here we go. Love, house, okay? Just separate these out. See, it doesn't have the... Oops. It doesn't have the... Um, You know the re it doesn't it it it'll it'll just mix them all up, right? It will not like make sense of anything. Okay, so what do we have here? We have love house, a midnight dark road. I like that a midnight dark road, right? That's interesting. So now we got this. You copy the output. Okay. Have fun making music, right? And then you jump onto. Um, you jump onto a Google Doc and paste it in there. All right. Let's see. What was the melody we had? Okay, let's see if we can make sense of any of this. Okay. That's the one, remember? Okay, so... Uh, Walking, what, what was the, I forgot, I deleted it. <laughs> walking down the road, walk, walking down, walking down the midnight road, walk. As the leaves are falling in the distant sky. Leaves are falling in the distant sky. That's not bad. Okay. All right. Leaves are falling in in the distant sky. Okay. Right. Leaves are falling in the distant sky. Mm. Walking by your house Midnight dark and empty road Oh! Walking down a dark and empty road Okay Walking down dark and empty road Well the leaves are falling well, the leaves, while. Well, the leaves are falling in the distance. In the distance, okay? <clears throat> in the distance. Through the midnight sky. Hmm. Through, across the midnight sky. Across? Across the midnight sky, okay? All right. Get rid of this, okay? Just to keep things, um, okay? All right. <clears throat> Walking down a dark and empty road while the leaves are falling in the distance across the midnight sky. See, it doesn't rhyme. So this is the other thing. The rhyming is super important, okay? So in the pop world especially, they gotta rhyme. We gotta end on the same thing. We gotta road, we gotta end on O, okay? So... Walking down a dark and empty road now we got two options here. We could change road or we can change sky. We can change the O or the I, but those two have to be the same, right? Not road, while the leaves are falling in the distance. You can get away with that one. Across the midnight sky. I like the midnight sky and it resolves nicely, doesn't it, on the C? Across the midnight sky. dark and empty why oh you see 
So, okay, all right, that's cool, that's cool. Well, the leaves are falling in the distance. Now you're gonna hunt, okay, sky, right? What rhymes, first of all, you gotta decide. I wanna keep sky, I do wanna keep sky. So, if I wanna keep sky, then I gotta change road. Walking down a dark and empty road. Okay. Walking down a dark and empty road. What rhymes with sky, right? Hi, fly, why, time, hide. Just go through them. I actually have, I don't know if I find it, I'll show you guys, but I've got a document. It started off, you know, handwritten, and then I transferred it over to a Microsoft Word document uh, before I got onto these, uh, the Google, Google Drive stuff. But um, it's all uh, words that rhyme. It's like, you could Google that now, okay? It's, uh, this is before the Google days, uh, or in the beginning days of the Google days. Anyway, uh, it was, um, uh, it, it just, it, it's all rhyming words, right? For I, try, why, my, uh, die, all, every possible one. And I would just add to them as I would discover new ones. And it's a massive document, but anyway. So with sky here, down a dark and empty. Man. Might have to change that whole thing. Instead of walking down a dark and empty road, it could be walking down a dark. Okay, look, we're gonna leave it at that because we're sort of um, digressing a little bit over here. Okay, um, I just basically wanted to show you verbizizer, verbizizer. Okay, because that's uh, the real deal here. So if we, if we um, kill these, okay, so you can put your own, the whole point of that was you can put your own stuff in there and work on that, or news headlines. Okay, here we go. Wow. So Kosovo, German police arrest stripper, freaking Italy, agents die when both capsizes. Of course, it's all bad news. Unfortunately, Ukraine war, right? Russian airstrikes. Okay, so, right. That's a lot of words, okay? Now you verbicize that, and you're gonna get, copy the output of that. Now, let's see what we're gonna get. A lot, okay? A lot. We're gonna get a lot. So, as you can see, it doesn't separate words very well. Okay. Oh, it's actually done a pretty good job here. Wow. All right. So, now the idea here, of course, is to go through this data. Go through all these sentences, read through them, and find something that pops out at you. Okay. Now, based on what I want to write about here, it's a dark road, it's a dark night. I'm reflecting in the past, I'm thinking of someone, um, you know, um, uh, maybe feeling remorseful, you know, I'm just walking, hands in my pocket, just, you know, just sad, right? Regretful, okay? So that's the picture I've got in my mind right now. Of course, that can change, okay? Nothing's written in stone here, that can change. Uh, and it could become something else if I'm inspired in a different direction here. Okay, so let's have a look. So we got a lot of police and stuff like that. Uh, Turkey, money. Okay, let's see if we can come up with anything interesting here. Uh, least life, nobody. Upstart. Okay. I might just skip through this. <laughs> Or just let her run, I don't know. Let's see if we can find something quick. Otherwise, I'll skip through it. And then, um, so you guys are not watching me go through all this in real time. Um, leaves, get Caribbean declares, okay. All right, so just going through this, I'm not really feeling it, to be honest with you. Uh, angry rifle, angry? Feeling angry at myself. See, angry. One word, just inspired. Yeah, I am, you know, regretful. And I feel 
uh, you know, I'm in the, I'm alone, you know, like, so angry could work, right? For our song, stuck and angry, okay? So you come back here, okay? Put it down here, but as a potential, okay? Stuck and angry. Strippers. That's not going to help us. Unless I was dating a stripper. <laughs> Turn target tackling president story death is injured vows their village. Okay, so look, this I'm not really feeling it. I'll be honest with you, the news headlines are not doing it for me. And that's okay. Grab this whole thing. You know, we spent maybe two minutes on it. No big deal. Okay. So, now I don't think I have to delete every single thing here. We could just go, let's go with Bowie lyrics, okay? Yeah, it just changes it, okay? So you can just swap out. Okay. Bowie lyrics. Right. This will be interesting. <laughs> now, before you even verbicize this thing, you can go through and just appreciate this incredible artist, you know? I mean, unbelievable songs and unbelievable legacy of music. Uh, just amazing. I still don't know what I was waiting for, and my time was running wild. A million dead-end streets. And every time I thought I'd got it made, it seemed the taste was not so sweet. So I turned myself to face me, but I've never caught a glimpse of how the others must see the faker. I'm much too fast to take that test. Ch -ch 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 change it. Turn the face to strange changes. Amazing, right? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, look, let's grab this, verbicize the whole thing. Okay? Copy the output. Kaboom. Now, what do we have? Okay, so the idea, of course, again, like I said, is to get in here. Choose something. Clouds. Okay, cloud around, touch, waiting. So you see what it's done? It's, it's mangled everything. It's just mixed all these words. It's all nonsensical if you read it through, of course. But you were looking for little gems, little nuggets of gold. Okay, little pieces of inspiration. That's the whole idea here, and it's pretty amazing. Uh, let's see what we can find. Okay. Contenders. Okay. Spit each other richer. Okay. So, we had... Okay, so we could grab remember. Okay. Oops, sorry. Oopsies. Um, let's just write it. Remember. And I saw some words here. What is it doing? Was that an autocorrect? <laughs> remember. Um, we lost our way back home. I saw some words here. See, remember? When we lost our way back home. Remember when we lost our way back home. Okay. Remember when we lost the way back home. Okay. Potential. crowd we thought the crowd would never end okay oops sorry again 
we saw the endless crowd we saw an endless crowd this crowd surround us while we while we held hmm let's see remember when we lost our way back home we saw an endless crowd see that doesn't work well we saw an endless crowd Inside the endless crowd, we saw an endless crowd surround us while we slowly danced. Okay? Something like that, right? So, just going through these now and with the melody the melodic line in my head right okay so that's that's basically the gist of it okay we're not gonna sit here all day long <laughs> and do this I mean of course if you want to write a song that's what it is right so the lyrics walking down the road around midnight well the leaves are falling in across the midnight sky okay remember when we lost our way back home we saw an endless crowd surround us dancing along okay anyway whatever right so the point here is that it can take quite a bit of time Right? It doesn't have to. Sometimes the lyrics really do flow easily. More often than not, it is the thing that takes the longest. In my experience. In my experience, okay? It's the, it's the part of songwriting that takes the longest. Is writing the lyrics. Making them make sense. Rhyming them. Making them fit within your melodic line structure. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. That it'll take whatever it takes to write. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's the verbicizer. That's the verbicizer right there. An amazing tool that you can use from time to time or use it exclusively like David Bowie did. This is what David Bowie did. This is not my cup of tea, really. Okay, this is not the way that I find that I can write lyrics the best. But I do use it once in a while. All right, so everything can be used. Everything should be used. Don't neglect anything when it comes to songwriting. You have to be open to any tool, whatever, whatever works for you, whatever kind of tool is going to help facilitate the songwriting process or get you out of writer's block if you're stuck, which happens. So whatever it is that can help you, use it. We're going to cover some more tools coming up, but for now, chew on that. Check it out. Verbicizer.com, I think it is. Yeah, verbicizer.com. Check it out. An amazing, very interesting and fun tool as well. Okay? I'll see you in the next video.